CapCut just launched their AI design tool that allows you to create posters, social media posts, product images, infographics, YouTube thumbnails, and much more in minutes by just entering a prompt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create images like this using CapCut's new AI design feature. You don't need to be a professional designer or hire a design team to create these stunning designs. These two does the heavy lifting for you. It does the heavy creative lifting. And that's why brands, designers, freelancers, and creators are already using these two to save time, speed up their workflow, and produce high quality visuals that grab attention. CapCut isn't just for video editing anymore. It's leveling up with AI design, and I want you to be one of the first to try it out. So stick around because I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to use this new AI design tool step by step. My name is Charles. Let's go. You can access CapCut on your PC or the web browser. For this tutorial, we are going to be using the web version for this. So we are going to go to CapCut.com. I'll leave the link to CapCut in the description of this video. Click the link and it's going to take you to this page. Now you can sign up for free and start creating. CapCut gives you 10 free trials a day to try out their new AI design feature. Now, once you're logged in on the left panel under AI tools, click on AI design. Here you see different inspirations on what you can do with this design tool from product poster set to Instagram post sets, model image, logo design, event poster, YouTube thumbnail, and much more. You can use these inspirations to quickly create yours or you just enter a prompt on the prompt bar here to generate your design. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. I have a lot of helpful videos in this channel. So subscribe, like, and drop a comment. Now, to start with, we are going to use the inspiration. So we click on product poster set. For this inspo, you can see that they uploaded five images and use this prompt here. Now to use it, we click make it yours. And then it brings us, you know, to the canvas where we can chat with the AI and create the design. You can see the images uploaded, different images of the headphone. And then we can just use the same prompt. We don't need to change anything. We don't need to change the prompt. Then hit enter. And from the chat, you can see that the AI is thinking, it's coming up with a plan, <laughs> the design brief, and boom, we have the Black Friday poster design ready <laughs> at the bottom right you can see the other images we select the images we want from here we click on any to view and edit them now click the image and just above the image click ai tools and you can edit the image from here you can either in paint expand remove upscale or remove background <laughs> see very easy now the next thing you are going to do is to create a YouTube thumbnail. So we click on create a YouTube thumbnail. And here we are going to use this prompt from the inspo here, but we are not just going to use the image. So I'm going to take this out. Now to create a YouTube thumbnail in CapCut, you can upload a reference image and create a thumbnail. But for now, I'm going to remove this reference image and just you know try to create a thumbnail without the reference image. Then we send it. As you can see, it's asking for the title of the thumbnail, what text you want to be on the thumbnail. So we are going to choose from the titles that it has given to us, or, you know, we could just enter any title we want to be on the thumbnail. So I'm going to select for the eight hours in Tokyo and send. And boom, it has created a design. This looks good. <laughs> now we are going to do something else this time around. We are going to try the same prompt, but I'm going to upload my image. So we are going to change this Tokyo travel vlog to Greece travel vlog. And I've uploaded my image here. Then we click send. And it's asking what both text should I feature on the thumbnail. So I'm going to choose one of these four texts that is suggested. I'm going to click on my Greek adventure and send. Boom. <laughs> we have the thumbnail. I love how it took out the background of my image and place the text at the top. That's the right place to position it from what I can see. This looks absolutely beautiful. I can just upload this on my YouTube channel and use it for my vlog. 
my grease vlog video <laughs> beautiful now another thing we can do to this thumbnail is add layers let's say we have generated a thumbnail and we want to add something probably an icon or more access to the thumbnail more things to show on it we can add a separate layer and this can be done in any design not just a thumbnail design so you can add more layers to your design so how do you add a layer what you're going to do is to come here where it says show layer panel and then here we click now we have clicked on this background you can see that it has selected the element in the chart and what we can do is you know enter what we want to add let's say we want to add trains planes and food markets we just enter this and then we send the prompts and boom <laughs> a new layer has been created it has been added we can see the market has been added here these are the planes this is a train this can literally work for any design they are working on <laughs> this is really cool and down here you can see the previous ones that i've generated and this is the one with the extra layer i can add to this layer you know add more things to it now how can you create your own prompts let's say you have a thumbnail in mind that you want to create for example i want to create a thumbnail that shows me pointing to a laptop probably because i want to talk about you know vibe coding and all that what i can do is to create a prompt that i'll use to generate the thumbnail and then use it here so to do this i'll go to chat gpt and then enter this prompt here what i'll say is write a prompt to generate a youtube thumbnail i want to create a youtube thumbnail where i'm pointing to a laptop the laptop screen shows a dummy website the thumbnail title is vibe coding tutorial and then send it now once we have this prompt we can just copy it and then head over to canva ai design we upload our image and then paste our prompt here you can see our prompt here once we are done we click send and boom <laughs> we have a thumbnail design. You can see that I positioned the text properly. And this is the exact text I gave it. I instructed it to, you know, to add to the thumbnail and it's created it. You can see the laptop and right there, I'm pointing to it. Initially, the image I uploaded wasn't a mid shot. You can just look at my image. The image I uploaded wasn't a mid shot. It was like a close head shot, but it's created a new image, gave me a mid shot, with my you know hand pointing to the laptop the ai created everything gave me a mid shot of me pointing to the laptop now this is what i call beautiful thumbnail <laughs> canva ai designs the thumbnail so you don't have to be a professional designer or spend money to create a thumbnail for your youtube videos now let's try something different let's take this a step further let's try to create an instagram post set so we are going to use this inspo here we click on try this inspo then click make it yours we'll leave the same prompt and then send you can see that there's no image uploaded here it's just a text prompt so we send this prompt and boom kafka just created five instagram style posts that we can use for our brand let's say you have a skincare brand and you want images to post on your socials you can just use this and post it use this straight off <laughs> this looks good this looks like it was done by a professional all right so I'm going to click at the bottom right here to view all the posts that we have created. It created four Instagram posts. This is the first one, Unveil Your Glow, We Are Essence Mid Skin, Radiance Redefined, Timeless Glow. All these posts just look like I paid a graphic designer to do them. And I just created them by entering a prompt. This design feature is powered by Nano Banana and Seedrain 4.0, two of the most advanced models which is why it can generate high quality designs like this. Now, let's try something else. What if you have your own product and you want CapCut to create social media posts, Instagram posts and all that for your brand? Let's say you have a shoe brand, you sell shoes. For example, let's use this Nike shoe. What we are going to do is upload these images. I've uploaded two Nike shoe images with different, uh, different shots. Then I've entered a prompt that says create a cohesive set of four Instagram posts designed for a sneaker campaign themed on the momentum. All four images to share the same bold, athletic, high performance visual identity. Then I went further in the prompt to explain what I want. If you scroll down, you can see the prompt is you know quite detailed. Here I give example headline variations 
Fashion is only momentum built to move. Every step matters, push beyond limits. Now for the output, I detailed what I want the images to look like, which is photorealistic mockups of Instagram post graphics with a 9-16 aspect ratio and the premium sportswear editorial aesthetics. Now, you don't need to do too much or think about oh would i have to write this type of prompt you can use chat gpt to create your prompts just like i showed you previously so you don't need to rack up your brain to try to get this type of prompt chat gpt is very good with creating prompts and you can see i used it to create this particular one that i'm using right now now we're going to send this and boom it has created four different instagram style posts this time around it's 9 16 aspect ratio you can see the first one here push beyond limits this looks absolutely beautiful wow if you click at the bottom right here we can view other images that were created this one looks good i love how it matched the vibe of the shoe with the overall aesthetic <laughs> you can see this other one built to move and on the momentum, they all look good. I'm impressed. Now, CapCord is great with creative stuff like this. I could just take it and post it on Instagram. Another thing CapCord AI design can do is, you know, swap outfits and even generate an image where a model holds different products. So we are going to try it now. I'm going to upload this image of a model. As you can see, I've uploaded five different images. One is the image of a model and then the rest are what the model will be wearing. I've entered this prompt, have the character showcase all products given in a casual fashion style and then send it. Boom. We have our image here. You can see the model wearing the blouse, the trousers, the red handbag and the shoes. This looks good. You could do this if you want to promote any of your products and you need a model to style them. You could just upload the outfit and the image of the model and then the AI will produce an image of the model wearing the outfit. This is absolutely beautiful. What if you want the model to be in another scene or setting? We can say, place the model on a busy street, walk in and then send it. And boom, the model is walking on a busy street. So you can change the background, the scene, and even the model's pose. You can just type whatever you want in the chat and then the AI will generate it for you. Now, let's try this with UGC. We are trying to create a UGC image. So we are gonna click on product in hand, then click make it yours. We'll remove the uploaded images because you know we want to upload our own. Then we upload the image. We want our model holding a Coca-Cola can and then we leave the prompt the same and send, boom. We have the image of the model holding the Coca-Cola can. The can is not out of proportion and the model image looks consistent with the generated one, which means it works as expected. You can see how simple it is to use the AI design feature in CapCut to create your designs. You don't need to hire a professional designer or design team to do all that. You can do it with CapCut AI design. You can try this out. Try it out yourself in CapCut. CapCut gives you 10 free trials for trying out this AI design feature. The link to CapCut is in the description of this video. So go ahead, sign up and start creating. I'm gonna share the prompts I used in this video on my Telegram channel. The link to my Telegram channel is in the description of this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, you're missing out because I have a lot of videos here that's gonna help you. So like this video, share, and I'm gonna see you here. Watch this video next.